How's it going? I'm Tyler Freed with Windmere Lake Taps. And I'm Patrick Flynn with Windmere Lake Taps. This is your weekly update. We're going to be bringing these to Thanks, you yeah, every right. single week. And what we're going to show is two new tips to help increase your business and give you a little bit of a recap of the current market. So to get started, uh, let's talk a little bit about the market out there. What Perfect. Are, what are your agents coming to you and talking about, Pat? Well, we've got a lot of short sales. We want to talk about how we can get those sellers taken care of in the short sales quickly. We want to get the... Uh, we want to get the knowledge out there that, that, that short sales are not exactly the most important thing out there. There's still a lot of inventory with buyers and sellers who both can get this stuff done and get it closed quickly. So short sales are, are an important part of it, but it's not all of our market. Okay. And we were talking earlier about uh, the inventory over the last six months. It looks like it's been going down about 10 units a month. And um, last month we saw a spike from uh, five pending sales in November. And in January it creeped all the way up to 19. So what that tells us is buyers are getting off the fence and they're really making their offers and turning them in and uh, sellers are accepting them as uh, people that have a house in the market right now are really tempted to uh, accept an offer and with it. So. Tyler, do you think uh, maybe sellers are getting more realistic for the prices too? I do. I mean, that's definitely a factor because appraisals are coming in a little lower, so they've got to be realistic on the pricing. There's not as many comps as there's been in the past. All right. All right. Now, you're doing short sales. What's the kind of timing that you're helping your sellers and buyers understand? Well, the sellers were starting to take advantage of the half a program with Bank of America. I know everybody uh, freaks out when they hear those three words, but, um, and then with the buyers, I'm letting them know that some of these have had approval in the past and those are probably our best bets. But uh, if they can steer clear of short sales in general and just focus on these bank homes and these non-distressed homes uh, that are having to compete with the low prices of these short sales, uh, they'll be off, better off in the, the long run. Okay. So in closing, Tyler, what do you think would be probably the best takeaway we could offer buyers and sellers in today's market? Well, just keep an eye on what's happening in your neighborhood and uh, do some research. And like I always say, the first offer is always the best offer. So if it, even if it comes a little low, um, that's what a buyer's feeling uh, is reasonable and fair. Might as well go ahead and take a look at it. Excellent. Good. This is Patrick Flynn with Windmerly Taps. And I'm Tyler Freed. Have a great week. All right. How's it going? Tyler Freed with Windmere Lake Taps here, and I've got a special guest, uh, the Lake Taps waterfront expert at our office, Tim Burke. And what he's going to do is going to give a little highlight of what he's seeing out there with the buyers he's showing and um, sellers when uh, he's doing market analysis for them. Uh, let's give it up to Tim. You know, waterfront listings, it's always something everyone aspires to get out there, maybe live on the water. Now's a great time to do it. Prices are probably dropping half compared to what they were two years ago. Tremendous opportunities on the lake. Take advantage of them. Rates are low. Opportunities are there. If you've ever had a desire, desire to live on the water, now is the time to make your move. It's just an awesome time to do it. We've got, oh, we've got, I think, 53 properties right now available on the lake, ranging in price from $375 up towards $4 million. Great opportunities. There's something for everybody out there. Take a look at the Window Mirror Lake Taps property search. How's it going? Tyler Freed again with your uh, weekly tips and alongside me, Patrick Flynn. So what we're going to talk about next is things that are requests from agents for you to teach them. Pat. So what, are, what have you been hearing out there? Well, Tyler, what I'm doing is I'm talking a lot about the viral platforms that we want to get going. We want to talk about your online inbound marketing. We also want to talk about how the offline inbound marketing can help put a little bit more energy into your online stuff. So when we talk about online, of course we're talking about blogging, we're talking about Facebook, we're talking about Twitter, we're talking about LinkedIn, and how we can connect all those together to create a viral messaging platform. And then offline we're talking about QR codes, we'll talk more about those in a minute, we're talking about some of the uh, flyers and uh, postcard marketing pieces that are out there and available. So, what we're trying to do at our roundtables here every Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 o'clock is just give the agents an opportunity to see what's out there, talk about it, express what they're doing, and maybe we'll build something together. Uh, it's interesting what's going on out there right now, but the online inbound marketing is really that important. So let me ask you a question. What are some of the things that you're seeing out there that's kind of interesting in your market? Okay, well, recently I was introduced to a program at stick.com and then backslash whatever your name is, and you can utilize all of your Facebook contacts on there to ask for referrals and recommendations. And what you do is you basically set up the account, it takes about three minutes, and it's uh, every realtor's favorite word, it's free. Mm -hmm. And um, you go on there and you just 
put a link to that stick uh, website and you can send them to all your database and they can just hit click uh, the recommend button and that's all they got to do. It's that easy and they can leave a comment too which is really good. Because we're always searching for great reviews like the Yelp stuff but this is a quick and easy tool that you can utilize and broadcast to everybody out there that you do a good job and take care of your clients. So that's uh, one big takeaway from this week. Perfect, perfect. So one of the things I'm also using now is, uh, is a lot of email newsletters and one of the platforms I use is madmimi.com. Now the neat thing about Mad Mimi is that it's a drop and drag system. So it's a very simple, easy process to build a newsletter and send it out to your community. The neat thing about Mad Mimi though is it also offers a web address or a specific URL you can just simply click and then send out to Facebook and Twitter, or it has a badge right there. So you're actually able to send out your message to a larger audience besides your email database. So I would explore madmimi.com along with stick.com and use that as part of your online inbound marketing platform. Any other great tips that we can offer our agents before we go? Uh, another website, and we'll leave all this um, in the end of our video. We'll put the URLs there that you can just uh, type into your computer. Um, Faceify.com. So what you're able to do with Faceify is you can actually track your Google ads, whether you're using eProperty sites or RealBird.com or just the old-fashioned Craigslist post with a couple pictures and a link. You can embed the HTML in there and you can track how many people have actually clicked on your listings and um, been sent off through the pictures and all that. So that's a really good website to check out. So that's Faceify.com. Yeah, good advice. Great, Tyler. Thanks very much. This is Patrick Flynn with Windmere Lake Taps. And I'm Tyler Freed. Have a great week.